Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So, I can't believe this has happened. So, after all the, you know, the not so good reviews that I gave Rurock on that Atlas 3.0, they actually reached out and wanted to send me the, the new 4.0. So, yeah, we're about to do this. Welcome back to another video guys. So yes, we got the brand new 4.0 here. I've actually, I, I was supposed to have this helmet a few months ago. Uh, we had some issues with shipment and customs and blah, 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 blah. So basically almost half a year later, yeah, we're here. Whatever, at least it's, it's finally here. But before we open up the box and I try it on and give you everything, I just wanna show you guys the 3.0 that I ordered last year, so. Like I said before, I think that this helmet, the Alice, is probably one of the coolest, if not the coolest looking helmets on the market. So, um, if you guys saw my reviews and my unboxing of this video, you know that look-wise, I was in love with it. When it came to everything else, I was very, very, very unhappy with the product, and I made that very clear. Matter of fact, we'll put it up in this video right now. I'm trying to put it on, taking it off, Awful, awful experience as well. And here's the crazy part. It's really hard to put on and take off, but once it's on, it's extremely big and it, and it just dances around my head. So, I'll show you guys right now. <sighs> my damn ear. Ah. All right, so we got it on. It's it just dances on me like it's, it's not snug and it has to do with the cheek pads not being not being so so plush like these cheek pads feel really cheap um they have no cushion and that's the reason why my helmet shakes that way and it's not supposed to if you know what a good fitment supposed to be it's supposed to be snug the cheek pads need more cushion not not cushiony enough um the fitment doesn't fit well at all now taking it off yeah a big of an issue as well i just don't understand it. extremely tight to put on extremely tight to take off no. so yes i still have it even though i said i was gonna burn it after a while but kept it, it it's just such a beautiful design helmet it's, it's really cool anyways let's just go to the unboxing now of the 4.0 now i already went ahead and i unboxed it and i opened it up because i just couldn't hold myself so yeah, I mean, pretty nice box though, just so you guys can take a nice little look at it. This is how the box comes, so nice package. Like I said the first time when I got my package, um, we got a visor, we'll show you the color in a minute. Then we have another visor, we'll open up after we show you the helmet. And right here, what do we have here? Are you guys ready? Are you? Ready. Are we ready? Alright. Bang. So, opted out and went ahead and I chose the all carbon fiber look. Just that liquid carbon. Just looks really, really cool. Uh, the 3.0 was also in, it's, I mean, it's a carbon fiber helmet. They all are. But this has a design on it. This just has that carbon fiber liquid cool material all over the helmet. Pretty cool. Now, before I even put, matter of fact, let, let's put it on. Because, well, matter of fact, let's talk about everything that I that made me unhappy about the 3.0. So the 3.0 didn't fit well, as you guys saw from the video. It just it, the, the sizing was all wrong. The sizing charts on the website were totally wrong. So. That was a big disappointment with that. Um, the helmet was super, super noisy. Very noisy, even noisier than my built helmet. Um, the helmet kind of felt like it was, when I took it on and off, it felt like it scratched my ears and my face. Like it literally, it, it felt very, very rough. Um, cheek pads were very, very poorly done. Um, they weren't that plush material that they said they were gonna be. 
And then they did end up shipping out another pair of cheek pads, but those are just too big at that point. It just it just didn't mix well. It didn't fit well. Um, the, the, that that was mainly mainly it was too noisy. It just didn't feel well. It didn't fit well. Um, and as far as the ventilation, I from what I hear, it's better on the 4.0. So with that being said, let's just let's just put it on, see how it fits for the first time. We'll do it on camera. Here we go. New rock, please don't disappoint me again. Oh, that's different. That definitely feels different. So, as you can see, this is this is nice and plush now. I guess my cheek, it feels plush. The material feels better inside. And it's not dancing on me, like it's, it's I like that it's it's a good feeling finally that's this is what I I, I was expecting a 3.0 let's put a 3.0 on out real quick oh and to take it off it doesn't hurt so good let me put on a 3.0 for you guys now show you guys what I was talking about So, as you can see, this dances around a lot. Very loose. Cheek pads were like paper thin on this one. And you can even see here, it just, it just wasn't, right? Take it off is a hassle. And as you can see here, these cheek pads are like, yeah, those are, nah, those are not good. Let's put this one back on again. Very nice. So you see this stays in place, doesn't dance around and it stays in place. Awesome. This is what I expect. Plush materials inside, feels nice against the skin, good fitment. Now as far as the helmet being loud, that's something that we're going to have to take on the road and we'll let you guys know how it feels. We'll be doing that on the next video. This company is pretty much known for making snowboarding helmets and stuff like that. Um, they stepped into the motorcycle realm maybe four or five years ago. Um, and every year after every year, they come out with a different helmet, the uh, Atlas and then 2.0, 3.0. And now this is the 4.0. So good thing about them, and, and it's, you know what, like I, I, I spoke a lot about the company. Um, customer service in the past dealing with them was not the best. I, I, I gotta be frankly honest. It wasn't the best when I had all my issues with the 3.0. Um, they did resolve a few things afterwards, kind of made things a bit better later on, uh, but it, it, it took a long time to get to the point. So at first customer service just wasn't there. It's kind of, it's a little hard to get in contact with these people at times. You email them and then, you know, you got to wait for an email for the next day or two down the line for them to respond. Um, but I'll say this, the fact that I made two or three videos kind of really dragging them down because I mean at the end of the day I got to keep it honest with you guys who watch me on a day-to-day -day basis or a week to week basis um, if, if there's one thing about this channel is that we keep it honest so whether I'm paying for something whether I'm getting it for free like I'm, whether I like it or not I'm gonna tell you guys the truth no I was not happy with the 3.0 I made that perfectly clear and they saw that and the fact that they actually kind of sent this out to me now to kind of you know test it out it's it says a lot about the company it's like all right well you you trashed our company um but you know what we we want to send you this and we want you to try this just to kind of prove you wrong now that you know not even prove you wrong but just to show you that we have updated everything that you were kind of upset about um and i think that takes a lot i think that that uh that shows a lot about someone or a company where it's like you know what we're here we're kind of here to prove you wrong and here's the new one we improved it and we want you to try it out so i mean thank you for sending this out to me um like i said this was the unboxing i kind of want to unbox it put it on show you guys the fill um and before i give you guys the next review i obviously got to put a few miles on this thing uh take it on the road see 
if the noise level has gotten better or if it stayed the same. So I will be throwing this on, the 3.0 on, a few times, and then I'm gonna go and try this on. Just to put them head to head and compare that noise uh, level. Um, pretty cool things about this helmet. Also, like I said before, it's all carbon fiber. Um, there's some ventilation right here in the inside, which you gotta kinda, it's right there in your chin area. So you either put it, close it or leave it locked, which is awesome. Um, so you got ventilation through there, and then obviously everything leaks out through the back right here, uh, the back of the spoiler. Um, it does come with uh, speakers inside, Bluetooth connectivity, so you connect with your phone, which is pretty cool. That's going to be an extra charge. Um, then you're also going to have the option to get different visors or different designs on the helmet. So I went with this visor right here, and it's pretty easy to put on, not that hard. Um, so I went with a uh, goldish type of look. This was the look that I wanted before when I had on the. Uh, I had it uh, when I was riding the 3.0 and I was on my low rider S. So pretty cool. We'll go ahead and take this off now. We'll put it on and see how it looks. Now to take off, you just gotta literally turn both uh, plugs on the side. So that one comes off easily. Turn this one. Oh, that's they, they they make that pretty easy, which is cool. So that pops right up. Go ahead and put the uh, gold shield on now. You know what, with all this being said, I also gotta give a huge shout out to Blockhead as well because we were out in Arizona with Harley Davidson. We were testing out the uh, the new uh, Street Glide ST and the Road Glide ST out there. So Blockhead, he comes over, he goes, uh, so uh, no 4.0 for you? I'm like, no, dude, like I was so unhappy with that 3.0. And he he was like listen like they fixed everything that you know that everyone was pretty unhappy with they updated a lot of stuff like give it a try and i'm like yeah i don't know i was pretty happy he was like nah dude trust me give it a try you'll, you'll like it so he also reached out to, to Ru rock as well and kind of connected us together again so blockhead huge shout out to you for that man thank you appreciate it i think this might be better if i just put it on and show you guys on face but closing then we have your first little gap right here so you get some air if you want to still cover your eyes. Then it has another lock right there, so that stays up. Then if you want to bring it all the way up, then right there, and then all the way up there. So it has a few little different settings where it can lock. Um, they also sent out a pin lock, so obviously we don't want to get these um, Visors all fucked up when we're out there riding. Pretty cool. The visors also come in different colors, so you're gonna have little uh, tint options: blue, red, gold, uh, silver. Um, so pretty cool. It's a good-looking helmet. Like I said, like I, I really, really love the design of this helmet. I've always liked it. I just wasn't happy with the product at that point, but um, it fits better. And it feels better uh, against the skin, so that, that's all I can say. Now, when it comes to the noise reduction, like I said, we gotta take it on the road, try it out, and I'll be giving you my uh, honest review and opinion about that. Um, but so far, so good. You're also gonna have another option, which I just noticed here, uh, different from the 3.0, so you're able to also lock this on top now, the vents. You didn't have that option before on the 3.0, so that's, uh, that's another upgrade right there. Pretty cool. And it's, and it's like a little it's like a little nipple on top so even with a glove you had a glove on it'll be pretty nice and easy to have access for that so you have access to open and lock that top vent open and lock that bottom vent in the front and obviously everything all the key is going to be coming out from the back that's going to be pretty much it um i'm not going to go ahead and put on my gopro setup on here yet because i really want to see if it's going to be quiet enough for me to use it as a motor vlog helmet and if I'm gonna have the comfort for those longer rides so um, I'm gonna put some miles on it uh, give it a few weeks come back give you guys a review and take it from there um, if you want to see more honest content and more opinions like this you're definitely in the right place go ahead subscribe hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content and there's a lot of content coming with my 2021 Rogue Life Special and my 2020 Low Rider S.
and other stuff going down the pipeline. There's a few new stuff coming to the channel. So with that being said, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.